first person to make a hammer and sickle joke gets shipped off to the gulag. What I'm gonna do is pretend I'm fighting with this guy and I'm actually gonna use one of the historical sickle stances. That was a pretty Ooh. light swing. Just more for speed than power. His nose is severed. That's fun. Hey guys, got any health insurance for me? Uh, <laughs> oh my, look at that. We've got uh, well, you've cleared his sinuses. some kind of, <laughs> yes. We've got some kind of piece cut out there. Oh, I mean, he's not dead. He's just disfigured for life. Yeah. And the sickle is perfectly undamaged, which is nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. He is all kinds Don't of messed up. The weapon. He might survive. <laughs> Relax, buddy. It's just a flesh wound. Just call for the medic. He'll oh. be fine. Oh, I think he touched brain there. <laughs> touched brain. I touch the Good minds news. of people. Okay, let me see if it's stuck or not. Not at all. You got a band-aid? <laughs> <laughs> I got a staple gun. I'll try to disfigure him next. Maybe just from the top. I don't know. Yeah, straight down through the top of the melon. <laughs> you could just take off that, that whole the uh, eyebrow. Yeah. Just take it off. Quicker than a decongestant. You've aerated his sinuses. You mean R-rated? R-rated, yes. Does it have a flavor to it? I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> Blech. It's not what I wanted, I missed, but uh, it's still kinda... Oh! <laughs> oh I mean, I just oh. pried off the stuff that I cut off. Oh. <laughs> you think he's gonna survive? Yeah, yeah, it's just a flesh wound. He'll be fine. If this guy goes to an American hospital, they'll send him home with some aspirin. <laughs> and a uh, $1,000 bill. <laughs> yes, I know, the, the healthcare in Canada isn't great either. I know firsthand, but still, it's a joke. Shut up. Oof. You really gave it some oomph right there. <laughs> it's that natural blacksmith strength plus two bonus or whatever, plus three. Nothing, huh? Interesting. You definitely gave him a concussion. Give him a hammer fist. Oh, that sounded really brutal. When I move him, like I can feel that the vertebrae are grinding. You know the golden dog I showed in the previous video about weapons for zombie hordes? How about we give that a swing or two? Good day, sir. I said good day! Oh! That pretty much decapitated him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there Stay. he goes. Stay. Chill out, buddy. It's okay. I think that'll do it. <laughs> Dramatic. Good as new. Look at how clean. That's a clean ass cut.
Okay, let's see, how easy is it to break his collarbone? Yeah, I can feel it. The collarbone is broken here. That's how you deal with zombies. You just turn the tables. So you just, you just tear them apart and. You, start to eat them. It goes almost all the way through. It's a sick twist on the face-off machine. <laughs> yeah, I can see here. As well. Yeah, it's it's most of the weight. It's just a little bit here left holding them together, but yeah, there's not much to say here. We've got this got this cavern going on here. You severed his upper jaw because the lower jaw is still there. The lower yeah. teeth are there, but the upper teeth are gone. It launched them into orbit. There's just a little bit of ballistic gel that's holding it, but it's all through the bone. Wow. Just this little bit was left. So we're drawing a bit of the spines there. a tremendous underbite. <laughs> If you're interested in getting some of these heads for your own nefarious purposes, I'll leave a link in the description below, as well as links to the weapons we used. Hope you enjoyed this carnage. Thanks for watching and have a good one, folks.